what's going on everybody welcome back to a brand new video in today's video i will be heading over to the fusion motor company to review their full yellow ferrari la ferrari and uh, pretty much explain to you guys why i believe the la ferrari is the best modern ferrari and uh, yeah so let's jump in the svr and head over there Alright guys, we have made it to Fusion, and here she is, the Giallo Modena Ferrari La Ferrari. This color is uh, not the standard triple layer yellow that you guys will normally see on the La Ferrari. Looks incredible. Obviously, the naturally aspirated V12 Ferrari logo, and just check out the doors. looks incredible you got the carbon mirrors matte gray wheels with the matching yellow calipers carbon front splitter wow this spec looks incredible guys so the ferrari la ferrari is actually more powerful than both the McLaren P1 and the Porsche 918 Spyder, which are the other two cars in the Holy Trinity hybrid hypercars. And it actually also weighs less than the other two as well. Powering the LaFerrari is a 788 horsepower naturally aspirated V12 by Ferrari. And uh, combine that with the 161 horsepower hybrid battery and you get this 949 horsepower monster of a car. Also has a seven speed dual clutch transmission. So I'm sure this car drives like no other. Also throw in there, this car is rear wheel drive. So power sliding and donuts definitely must be fun in this car. And something really cool about the LaFerrari, there's this orange cable that you can see standard on all of the LaFerrari's. Very cool little feature. Got four massive pipes in the back carbon everywhere it's actually the first ever Ferrari to feature a hybrid powertrain first debuted in the 2013 Geneva Motor Show this car being a 2015 I believe and to this day they still haven't created a, another hybrid which is pretty cool this is actually the fifth in Ferrari's main supercars. You had the Ferrari 288 GTO in 1984, the F40 in 1987, the F50 in 1996, and the Ferrari Enzo in 2002. And here in 2015, we have the La Ferrari. They've actually made 499 uh, La Ferraris worldwide and around 120 made their way to the US. And compared to the Porsche 918, which had 918 units worldwide, and the McLaren P1 that had 375. But I think, honestly, the LaFerrari has to be my favorite. I know it's between the P1 and the LaFerrari, but every time I see a LaFerrari, it just takes my breath away. It looks so amazing. The LaFerrari is also the most expensive out of the Holy Trinity. The 918 was around 600,000 pounds, and the P1 was around 800,000 pounds. Well, the LaFerrari is at 1 million with options, you're probably sitting around 1.2, 1.3. Now these cars are worth above 3 million, which is just insane to think about. Almost triple the value. Appreciation goals. <laughs> Similar to all Ferraris, this is the key. Front and back. Pretty standard. Now this key was actually changed on the 488 recently. It has a different normal looking key. Honestly, I think I like this one a lot more. So traditional. You can just tell it's a Ferrari when you see this key. The other one looks more like a BMW key. <laughs> we have the LaFerrari startup sequence there. Ferrari badge on the right. Wow. 
Wow. Actually feels like a rocket ship. Kind of similar to the Agera, actually. On the interior of the LaFerrari, we have tons of Alcantara and carbon fiber everywhere. You can see the little Italian flag in the middle. And Ferrari actually allowed you to uh, change that to your native country. Most of them are Italian though for resale purposes. Also on the steering wheel they allowed you to change this little plaque here to whatever you want. This one has the normal LaFerrari. Huge carbon paddles. And these are actually the blinkers on this car. So there isn't the standard blinker here. It's actually that's for the left and that's for the right. Here in the center we have the limited edition one of 499 plaque with all the carbon as usual all over this car very nice very nice here we have all the different modes on the LaFerrari we have wet sport race CT off and ESC off now if you want to switch it just gently move them pretty self-explanatory keep that one to race Starting off with the LaFerrari badge over there, we have these really cool looking air conditioning outlets, all in carbon fiber of course. And this is actually the gear changer in the middle. So we got reverse, um, this is to put it in automatic, and this is to enable the launch control. In the middle, we have the raise and lower the windows. All carbon. It's crazy how much they've used in this car. And actually the seats don't even have a mechanism underneath so the pedals are adjustable and so is the steering wheel. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the interior. Here's the climate control. And here's to change the dash setup when it's on. Very cool, very cool, very cool. All carbon doors. Alcantara everywhere. Absolutely love these doors. Probably my favorite behind the Koenigsegg. Interior is incredible in this car. We have full black leather, yellow stitching. Very nice. The LaFerrari doors are probably the most satisfying to close. They're super heavy, so when you want to close it, just gently go. Right there. Oh. Once again, full carbon mirrors. Looking good. This one actually has the black painted top. Some of them have the carbon option. Uh, I don't know. I think I like the black paint. Looks really crisp and clean. You have these massive air intakes there for the engine. It's obviously cool. This huge V12. The hybrid charger is crazy on this car. Just look up big battery is all black with the Ferrari symbol right there on the top low voltage high voltage and charger status charger status is on green so this car is ready to go all right just finished filming the review gonna head in to grab some nice Japanese barbecue for lunch all right just finished a great lunch at the Japanese Barbecue, now it's time to head back to Fusion to finish off the review. Guys, let me know which one you guys would choose in the comments below. F12 TDF or the Ferrari LaFerrari. It's a tough one. Both the specs are so nice. This yellow is so nice, but this gray is so nice. TDF for LaFerrari, TDF for LaFerrari. I think I'm gonna have to take the TDF. Now, here's why I think the LaFerrari is the best modern Ferrari. Well, it's definitely the most powerful. I think it's probably the best looking and maybe the best sounding. All right, starting to wind off the review on the Ferrari LaFerrari. Um, make sure to check out my next video that features this F12 TDF in the review. We have this gray tan interior amazing amazing spec one of the highest msrps and please make sure to check out fusion motorsports i will leave the link to their website and their instagram in the description below 
super kind to let me come out here and uh, do a review on some of their hypercars. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video, subscribe for more, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.